Hello, I'm Sir Andrew Davis, and I want to tell you about our upcoming performances of Elgar's Dream of Gerontius in March 2018. It's a piece I fell in love with when I was 14 years old, and it's one of the greatest choral pieces ever composed. Stuart Skelton, Catherine Wynne Rogers, and Nathan Berg will be our soloists, and the glorious sound of the MSO chorus will cap off the whole evening. It's something very special. I think it's going to be one of the greatest and most moving events of the season, so please don't miss it. I first heard The Dream of Gerontius by Elgar when I was about 14 years old. It was in the Royal Albert Hall in London, and it made a profound impression on me, and I, it's never left me, that impression. I think it's one of the greatest of all his works, and a piece that means so much to me. It's about Gerontius, who is the an old man, every man, if you like, approaching his death with the usual mixture of hope and terror and, and expectation. He is surrounded by his friends and after a very passionate statement of, of his faith and, and hope, he eventually passes away and a priest joins the chorus to send him forth from the world into, into, the, into eternity. That's part one. In part two, which starts with the most fantastically quiet, serene but strange music, the soul awakes. He says, I went to sleep, but now I am refreshed. He's in a strange atmosphere and doesn't know quite what to think. And then his guardian angel appears, and she is the one who guides him through the rest of his, his journey in part two. First of all, coming from the distance, they hear a, a chorus of demons who get closer and closer and more menacing. And what they're doing is mocking humanity for, for the aspirations that we dare to have. But these demons eventually fade away and, and are supplanted by an angelic chorus who sing a marvelous piece that actually works itself up gradually to, to the most tumultuous climax. Praise to the holiest in the height and in the depth be praise. In all his works most wonderful, most sure in all his ways. This angelic chorus also fades into the distance and then Gerontius comes to the moment where he goes before his God. And there's a tremendously still moment and then a huge outburst from the orchestra after which he sings, take me away and in the lowest deeps let me be. The guardian angel takes him, metaphorically speaking, in her arms. And the last image we have is of the soul being born on the waters towards eternity, towards we don't know what. None of us know what. The point about this piece is it doesn't matter what you believe because it has a great message of ecstatic hope, really, that what we all aspire to, we go to heaven, we join the collective unconscious, what do we do? But, but we, humanity as a whole is moving forward to something all the time better and more glorious. Mm -hmm.